Clay Moore has been a park host for the Port of Newport South Beach RV Park for the past 10 years. It would take far too long to describe everything Clay does for the park and the thousands of guests that visit the park each year, but Clay loves every minute of it. There's so much to see here. There's, there's a good three days worth of stuff to do here. During the summer when the weather is nice, I would do it. courtesy take them to their site on the golf cart, uh, which is a very uh, courteous thing when you do pull in. Even though they show you on the map, you're still not 100% sure where it is. So that way it gave me a contact with people right away. So as uh, soon as I would, I, when I, after I got to meet them, I would uh, uh, say, have you been here before? And most of the time they would say no, but they'd hear the, they called them seals. They hear the whoop, whoop, whoop. And right away they got excited about that. And there was a little thrill of, of what is going on here that I don't know about. So I would tell them I'll be over in about 15 or 20 minutes and give you a little welcome. As a park host, his welcoming smile and flair for making guests feel at home is a cut above the rest. He takes time to inform travelers about the restaurants they should visit and attractions that should not be missed. Usually, he can talk a guest into staying a few more days just to enjoy all the city has to offer. Being a host here is like being a host in your, in your own home. Uh, when you come in, you don't know what's here, uh, where, to, where to go to eat, where to, where to walk the doggy, etc., etc. And I get asked questions, uh, where do I get propane, where can I get diesel fuel? A multitude of things some of you wouldn't even believe that I get asked, a beauty parlor. Uh, so you have to be on your game for all of these different things. The park office has kept a file for Clay that is filled with letters, thanking him for creating such a wonderful experience during their stay at Newport and making them feel like they were the most important person ever to pay the coastal town a visit. I have people tell me no one, we've come all the way across the country and no one has ever come to our RV to tell us anything. I get that a lot. So I guess that alone is a, 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 a thank you in a way. Having traveled across the country and going to a strange place, uh, there could be wonderful things to do there but nobody told you about them. That's a secret. It's kind of like being the Chamber of Commerce, except you go to the Chamber of Commerce uh, in a little town to say, what, what can we do here in Podunkville or, or whatever. You know? And uh, this way, we, I've kind of built it so that I do the, I do the walking uh, or going. And the office lets me know if someone uh, a uh, newbie has come in. It's just a great thing uh, to offer them and let you know that you care about them and care about them and thankful for their stay, for your, their stay with you. So 